Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the uh, tags off the window of this car here. Um, it'll take me a little bit to go through it, but this one here has two tags because there is so many features and options and uh, things that were put on this car that make it pretty spectacular. Uh, in the early 90s, the mid 90s, uh, the restoration market really started to take off and there was a company called uh, Classic Chevy International and they needed a show vehicle to take around the country uh, to promote their restoration products. This was their show vehicle. Matter of fact, uh, in the panels on the side here, it actually said uh, Chevy International um, in there. So we had that painted over because nobody really knew anymore because they got bought out. and Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But this is a, uh, a sedan delivery. An interesting thing about a sedan delivery is they are extremely rare, extremely rare. They, they, made, uh, they made millions of 57 Chevys, but only uh, actually less than 1% were sedan deliveries, which was very interesting because they almost were custom made. Uh, the molds included uh, welded in panels in here instead of windows, uh, which is typical of the Nomad wagon but you got roll down windows and uh, you know, obviously seating and things like that. This was designed for you know, the artsy crowd that maybe wanted to, you know, a great painter or something like that or the handyman and uh, just to be a little bit nicer than the handyman special. The paint on this is fresh, it's just been done. It's uh, matador red, um, color sanded and uh, show waxed. And it'll probably be in our next show if it doesn't get sold here uh, very quickly. A couple nice little features and touches on it we'll walk around and look at. 18-inch uh, alloys right here. Very nicely done with high-speed radials, four-wheel disc brakes. This has a Ford 9-inch rear in it also. Very interesting, very nicely done. Side exit exhaust, custom made, and it sounds great. Goes through Flow Masters, all stainless steel and polished. The underneath of the car looks spectacular. Let's do this. Let's look under the hood because uh, a lot of money was spent on that, and I think that's really the wow factor in this car here. Everything in here is detailed nicely. All the fender wells were painted. This car has air conditioning, has a polished compressor, billet brackets. Look at these March pulleys. Everything's either polished, plated, or painted. There's nothing raw. Nice big radiator. Air conditioning is really nicely done. And all of this is detailed. Chrome master cylinder and brake booster, electric wipers. A lot of people forget there were vacuum wipers back then. This has electric wipers. And you have your choice. We have this set up right here. Watch when I close the hood. You have your choice of this here, or we have a scoop that goes over and only sits about that high and covers everything else and you won't see it. All new chrome and stainless. Now these are some of the luxury things that we talk about when you buy a car of this caliber. You know, this is probably uh, in the $80,000 range to restore. You know, this has the best of the best stuff. It's a 454 big block uh, with the dress up package. It's got the turbo 400 automatic, which has been rebuilt also. It's got uh, the four nine inch rear, fresh paint, air conditioning, four wheel disc brakes, and you know, uh, power steering, power disc brakes, I should have said that. Uh, but you know what's great too, not only does this car drive well, let's go inside and uh, let me show you a couple of things that are really nice. This is a cute little touch here. I haven't seen these since then. Billet bow tie door lock knobs. May seem cheesy, but it's a little touches that make a difference. Great mirrors too. Super classic. These are power heated leather seats with lumbar control. Custom made console with billet shifter. Car has power windows. A couple of nice things too. If you end up getting a little bigger, it's got tilt wheel. It's got a full auto meter dash with all your gauges in there. This has quite an audio system. A lot of it's hidden in the back. There's subwoofers and amps right back here. CD changer, storage compartment. This is a centerpiece of anybody's collection. It's also a great car to take to a car show because you know what? You're not gonna run into this car again. This is not like there's a lot of these out there. A, they didn't build many and none are as well as this. And listen to this. Everything is just done nicely. Let's take a look in the back because it's all been detailed and completely finished in the rear of it. So let's take a walk back here and look. This is really nice. That's right here. This would make a great advertising vehicle for a company. Everything is all finished in here. Storage compartment right there. We left that up so you could see. There's tons of storage in there or it folds completely flat. Some people actually put jump seats in there if they want to. We can do that for you. Speakers are mounted in the side. Headliner has got a full length console all the way down there. Looks really cool. Look at the details, like this is molded in right here. 
These bow ties may not seem like a big deal to you, but check this out. That's a cool touch. And that's what makes a show car above just a cruiser. Look at this, Chevrolet emblem molded in here in the tailgate. Look how detailed everything is in here. All fresh bolts, nuts, the four to nine inch rear there. Nice set of rubber. I've never seen one of these before. I've been to a gazillion car shows, I've been to a lot of auctions and things like that just to look at stuff. And I've never seen a sedan delivery, especially a sedan delivery at this level. So if you want a really great car that you're not going to run into at other places and see all over town, uh, check this car out. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage, 301-816-1000.